can I say that's literally been my Twitter timeline for the past, like, I don't know, six hours. I'm not playing around. The internet has flipping gone into meltdown mode, and oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. And I'm pretty sure it might have something to do with uh, that small game called Pokemon Sun and Moon trailer has finally dropped. Yeah! My main man Arceus has come through with the goods, thank you so much, but it is ridiculous. As soon as I saw it, I tweeted out, I'm like, this is everything I wanted more. It literally gives you from like head to toe every bit of information that you could have wanted for like sort of a release trailer. Because when they first announced the game, we're like, oh my gosh, we didn't get that much information. But then they go and drop this bombshell. But pretty much like initially, I wasn't going to make a video. I'm like, you know what? This doesn't really need a video. There's not going to be that much information. Then the internet went into meltdown mode. Everyone was like, Andrew, you've got to make a video. We have to know your thoughts. So I'm like, you know what, let's make a video of the best like sort of things that they revealed in the trailer and uh, all the secrets that we found out. So without further ado, let's take a look at the trailer that just got announced. Oh my gosh, I'm so hyped. So the very first thing that we see inside the trailer here is actually the brand new professor. Now this guy is the most pimping dude of all time. He's got the swaggiest glasses on, he's got his snapback on, and uh, yeah, he's got his like sleeves rolled up. Really cool new professor. We don't know too much about him, but yeah, that's exactly what he looks like. And I think that's all that we really need. We've got a professor, we know what he looks like, I'm good to go. That information is the best way to start the trailer. Following the information of the professor there, it shows a lot of gameplay of him like running around the island. Now what's crazy about this? This is the first ever Pokemon game that we're going to see a fully blown trainer. Like no sort of chibi, uh, no sort of like small big head, small body sort of character design. This is a fully fledged full body trainer design and uh, it's really revolutionary for the Pokemon game and I thought that was so sick. I love the design and the way it looks so far. Really cool job Pokemon. Then after he finishes going for like a jog around the island, we then get the crucial bit, the most craziest part of this announcement, the flipping starters. Now definitely become the comments section below, which one are you going to choose? Okay, for me personally, I, no one hate me, but Poplio, the water type at the end, the seal with the clown nose, I don't know why, I'm really drawn to that one. As much as everyone hates it, I love it so much. So uh, that's definitely going to be my starter. I was really tossing up between like this one and the flipping owl at the end there. Are you not looking at the cutest bow tie? If you look really closely, he's actually got a bow tie made out of leaves. I was like, ah, oh, do I go the owl or do they go the seal type Pokemon? I'm not sure, but I've sort of gone towards Poplio. I think he's super duper cute, but leave a comment in the comment section below. Which star did you like the most? So Rowlet, let's talk a bit more about this guy because apparently a lot of people found a lot more information about this dude. Rowlet can actually move his head all the way to the flipping back. I know, apparently Sloths can do the same thing, so I thought that was really cool. Which shows he's put a like, sort of part an owl, sort of part a sloth put together. But then, what is this move right here? The internet is like, what are we looking at? This is a brand new type of move and I'm super interested, what do you guys think? And also, he's a two part sort of type Pokemon, flying and grass, which is pretty cool for a starter. Following that, they actually revealed the region of the uh, Pokemon game. Now, regions don't really affect me too much because I always enjoyed the Pokemon game, no matter really where it's like set, but this apparently is set all the way in Hawaii, which is really cool. It's a Hawaiian island, and apparently it's actually modeled after a Pacific island in Hawaii, which is really cool. Do you actually live there? Leave a comment, comment section below, but apparently there's like a volcano and uh, a couple of other like really Pacific things they've copied out of it, which I think is really awesome. Another Pokemon game based off real life. So guys, make sure you put your glasses on. This is the face you gotta learn to hate. This is gonna be your rival, the happy-go-lucky dude that thinks, haha, life is fantastic, but like, no, why do we keep losing towards you? That's gonna be the dude, that's gonna be, uh, yeah, the guy you end up hating towards, I don't know, part way through the game when you can't beat him, but I thought it was pretty cool. They revealed the flipping rival as well. This is crazy. What to say? I don't know what to do. They, this was like the cherry on the top. I wasn't expecting it, it wasn't on the menu, but then they chucked it in there. We got gameplay of the legendaries. Oh my flipping gosh. Now, leave a comment, which one are you? Pokemon Sun, which is the lion dude, I think that's mine because I love him so much. The most epic Pokemon that I've seen in ages. I cannot wait for a full art TCG card of that guy. Or Pokemon Moon. Kinda looks like a pimped out sort of bat or like, I don't know, a skinny Veltal I guess. Leave a comment, what do you think, but I am dying. I love these legendaries so much. So put that towards with the starters as well. This is looking to be the greatest game I've ever seen Pokemon make. I'm so hyped. And then last but not least, holy flip moly, they gave us a release date. I was like, bruh, do we need any more information until like November 18th? We probably could go without it and would be fine. But anyway, it comes out November 18th, the entire world, except for Europe. I'm so sorry if you live in Europe. You gotta wait an extra five days. I'm not sure why that is. 
But uh, if you're in Australia, we're all good in the hood. We do get it the same day as Japan, which is November 18th, and I am pumped. And yeah, that pretty much wraps up my Pokemon Sun and Moon first ever video. There will be plenty more Pokemon Sun and Moon content coming out on the channel. I am so pumped up, and the fact we have a release date as well, it just makes me so excited. I'm literally crossing off the days on my calendar right there. Um, I've already got the first day crossed off. I'm pretty excited. But definitely leave a comment in the comment section below. Two different comments. What stun are you going to choose, and are you Pokemon Sun or Pokemon Moon? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Have a fantastic day, guys. But most of all, what are you going to do? You're going to keep on gaming. Alright, guys, I'll see you then.